Hello and welcome to the 18th tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at scaling nodes using the scale by action. We'll be using the source code from the 7th part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with loads of useful functionality to manipulate nodes, like we've been doing so far in this series. Most things in Cocos 2D JS are nodes such as sprites and menu items. We will look at scaling a node using the scale by method which scales it relative to its current size so applying the same type of scale over and over again will keep scaling it. Let's open up our app.js which contains the current layer. We already have a sprite. We will first create an action. Okay, so we're going to do var sprite underscore action equals cc dot scale by and we've got to do .create first before we specify any parameters. And the first parameter we specify is how long we want the action to take. In seconds, I'm going to put 2 seconds. Then we say how we want it to scale in the x-axis, I'm going to put 3. And then how we want it to scale in, well, the y-axis, I'm going to put 4. Now, just run the action, so sprite.run action. Again, this doesn't have to be a sprite. You can work on other nodes as well, like menu items or fonts. Equals cc dots, not plus scale boy, just run action. Let's go specify the action now. Sprite action. And now the next thing we can do is just simply open up terminal cd to a project directory. Now run it, so cocos run dash p. You can run it on the device if you want to, but I'm just running it on the web. Let it load. There you go, it has now scaled it. Looks very similar to the scale team method. Only difference is you can apply the same scale over and over again because it's scaled it relative to its current size. So what we're gonna do is just do var repeat underscore action equals cc dot repeat dot create specify the action we want to repeat so sprite action we we'll repeat it three times now we're going to run repeat action instead go back to our browser refresh and you might notice that when it was sizing it jumped and the rate at which you're sizing increased and the reason it did this is let me go back to here as it was each time scaling it by 3 in the x-axis, 4 in the y-axis, but it was always over a period of 2 seconds, hence why it looked it was going faster the second time and even faster the fourth time, though it wasn't, it was just scaling more of it. That That's the only reason it was jumping like that. So if you want to try and get around that, you've got to factor in the size as well, and so the, the size for it, so do some sort of little algorithm. No thing to note, you can't reuse action for different nodes, you either need to create a new one, release the old one and construct it again. Recommend you just create a new action for the different nodes. No task for you to do, using the screen size variable which was used to position the sprite. Scale the sprite so it looks the same on different devices. Sort of what I was saying here with the time and also make sure the images are different sizes in the low, medium and high res. This may take a little bit of thinking but will be well worth the effort when creating dynamic games that run on several devices. The next tutorial will cover tinting using the tint to method which tints a node's colour relative to well its original colour. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.